We're going to show you real quickly from Membe what is in this box. This is going to be their 7 inch rounds for the Jeep here. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. You can see here on the headlights it's got a protective film on it and we'll remove that after the installation and I'll show you a little bit more on the box and real quickly we'll show you why we're replacing that. Our existing headlights you see here this one's working and this one's not so it does come with the light again it's got that protective film on it go ahead and show you a little bit more besides the protective film you can also see here it's got your vents here on the side for all the heat dissipation and this is going to be your hookup it's going to go inside the jeep and for this to work it has to almost trick the, the original stock lights that were in there so it's got this adapter right here that you're going to use as well so it's going to have that in both the adapter as well as the headlight and that's what's going to come in this box. So we've got two of those in here. On top of that what we're going to do is we're going to need a few tools to do this installation. I've got some gloves on already. If you don't have anything like this you can also just use some, uh, some latex gloves and then you're going to need a Torx T15. That's what this is for and that's going to be to take off this little bezel right here and you're going to need some electrical tape and you'll just need a flat head screwdriver and this will be an optional if you want to do this but what this is for is we take this through a lot of water and you know you're also don't have a complete seal on here so what this is going to be is called dialytic grease. This gives you a better connection, also does a little bit more waterproofing inside when it does connectors. So what we're going to do is we'll put just a little bit here on each one of the connectors with the dialytic grease. And then once we have it connected, that's where the electrical tape comes in too. So we'll tape this all up really good. And really this is not going to take too long to do the install. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the grill here. And to do that we'll do a little bit of a closer up. But what you do is you just take your flathead screwdriver and each one of these, there's going to be six of them total. You're just going to go in here and you're just going to lift up and pry that up. And we'll show you a little bit closer on that as we get ready for the install. The last thing here is if you look behind me, I've also got a winch right here. If you do have a winch, I'm going to try to do my best without having to take the whole entire grill off. But if you had, if you don't have a winch, it's easy just to take the whole grill off a lot easier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be actually prying this up so I can get to this bezel. And then I'm going to try to pull these old lights out. So we'll go ahead and we'll start with the install. You're going to go ahead and remove each one of these. There's going to be a total of six of these right here. To do that, you're going to take your flathead screwdriver. You're going to go underneath and you're going to pry it up just like this. Pull that away. And you're going to do that six times as you go all the way across the grill. That's going to give you that leverage to be able to pull this out a little bit more and start working on it. Again, if you don't have a winch, you can go ahead and just pull the whole thing entirely off. Taking your screwdriver and the other six are going to be right here. The next one, just lift up. You can see I've almost got them all. So there's, we've already got three. We'll just keep going. With all six released, you can see now that we have a lot more give here on the grill. Grab your T15 torque. You're going to be taking off this bezel. Mine's black, but most likely in the factory it's going to be silver. So you're going to take this off. Again, we're trying not to take this entire grill off, but if you again can take that off, you can by also just pulling on this. It gives you a little bit more room. Take your T15, take off the bolts that are inside. Here there's going to be four of them. Take that off, take the bezel off. That's going to release the actual headlight. Okay, when you go to release that last final torque screw, it's going to release this whole entire front bezel, allowing you to get access to your, your headlight. So here's the bezel. And here's, I think this will look different if this is your fa factory headlight, it'll look a little bit different. And you're going to go ahead and you're just going to disconnect your connections that you have from the factory or from your aftermarket. Go ahead and make sure you grab this other connector. What you're going to do again is you're going to put a, if you would like to you can again take that optional step and put dilated grease right in here and once you have that you're going to go ahead and you're going to clip this in you'll hear it click 
now that it's in, next thing you do is I would recommend before plugging that in to go ahead and take electrical tape, make sure it's completely covered, plug in your light, electrical tape that, and then you'll put your bezel back on here, take your four screws, put those back on, and also before you do put on this very nice light, pay attention to the, the stamped words on either ones, make sure the dot is at the top, it says dot S-A-E at the top. All right, now that you're done with the install, last thing to do is go ahead and take off this protective coating from your install. And then what I'm going to do is I just use my key here to unlock it so you can see to make sure they work. And these look really good. They've got that black bezel with an all black vehicle. It looks really good. And then what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and take this out, show you what the light patterns look from the high and the low beams. And it looks really nice. Again, it's got a nice clean look to it. I like that black bezel. And again, it does come in a variety of different colors. So go ahead and take a look at the Maya B if you haven't already. Looks like a really good solid light.